hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in the previous session we discussed about the benefit of running the winapp driver programmatically and we discussed about how to run winapp driver programmatically and in this session we are going to discuss on how to run winapp driver through apm right and in order to run winapp driver through apm service what we need we need to install apm and in order to install APM, we need node in our system because APM is a node module. So I'm now navigating to a site wherein you need to download the node module, node installer, I mean, right? So we need to navigate to this site. I'll be sharing this particular URL in the description. Then after you need to click on downloads and then click on windows installer click on 32 bit or 64 bit, 64 bit depending on your system os right I, in my case i have installed 32 bit okay so once after installation of uh, this node what you need to you need to open cmd in the admin mode and then what you need to do you need to use this particular command npm install hyphen g apm at the rate 1.18.3 so 1.18.3 is the one version of APM which is which is compatible with Selenium 3 and it is the recommended one. So I'll request you to please use the same version. So NPM is something which is used to install any node module. So we are using npm install. So npm install is to install any node module as apm is a node module. Hyphen G stand for global. So we are adding it at the global level. And then we are installing apm. This is the node module name. And at the rate 1.18.3 means we are going to install the 1.18.3. Once after installation, what you need to do, you need to open another CMD and type in this apm hyphen hyphen version in order to check that whether the apm got installed or not. So you will see 1.18.3, right, as installed, if it got installed, okay. And this is a non-GUI version of APM. I'm not using the UI version. You can use GUI version as well, okay. Now moving on to the IntelliJ, right. So in this case, in IntelliJ, what I'm going to show, so I have created a separate class for APM. It is very much similar to what we discussed in the process filter. In this case, what we are we have done, we are we have created a reference variable of Windows driver, and it, by using this start winup driver and internally we are calling the start apm server, right? We are um, like getting the Windows driver instance. So I'm now moving on to the start winup driver method, wherein what we are doing, we are setting up some desired capability, right? And in this case, if you notice, we have again kept this root capabilities as false. We will be covering this root capability section in later sessions. And what is the need of using like root capabilities? Okay, then what I'm doing is as we are like now we are relevant, this particular section is relevant for our case. So we are going to set up the notepad, notepad.exe location. Then after we are setting up the desired capabilities, platform name, device name, right? We need to additionally add automation name, new command timeout, and uni Unicode keyboard. Right? These are something related uh, response uh, like related to APM. So you need to keep it as it is. I'll be sharing this particular code snippet in the description. Right? Then after what we are doing, uh, in order to run the WinUp uh, like uh, uh, Windows driver, what we need, we need to run the WinUp driver in the background. Right? So. Uh, so uh, in this case as i mentioned we are going to run the winup driver using apm so i am calling this particular start apm service so if you look at it i again passed the desired capabilities which i set right now like first of all what i am doing is i am killing any existing session of apm service like meaning if uh, the previous run for example i ran it previously and some service is running so what i'm doing is i'm killing the existing apm service if it is already running so as this is the node module i'm directly killing the node exe so i have written one method kill process so using the runtime uh, of jdk right runtime dot get runtime we will get the object of it and then what we are doing we are using this task kill um, slash f slash m f stand for uh, like uh, forcefully killing it right i am a task kill means to kill it right this particular command might not work on linkedin uh, sorry linux i mean 
right as this is something related to windows and windows for desktop application we won't even require to run it on desktop okay so that's why i kept it like that so if this particular line of code line number 47 will kill the exe okay not exe and then after what we are doing we are then uh, like uh, creating a service builder right using new appm service driver builder so this is something belongs to io.appm.java client right which we installed as a dependency to deal with winup driver right so using with capabilities so what are the desired capability that we said so we are using that and using any free port means so it will look for any free port which is available and it will randomly give it right and then it is uh, waiting for this five seconds to run it right uh, like this is to set up the sequence right Many, meaning uh, like uh, the sequence is set up so when we will be running so these particular things will be followed right now what we are doing we are creating the local service instance this is again belongs to uh, the io.apm.java client service and we are now building the service right so once after service is built this is something related to actions in selenium right so we create the sequence of operations and then after we perform build and at last we do perform right so in this case for example using build service we will create sequence of operations and then after what we are doing we are now using this we are starting this service so these particular three line of code are starting the winner driver at particular port right so now what we are doing we are if you look at it this is the same syntax which we are using from the very starting so only difference is we need to add http colon local localhost this is same and we are now using the uh, for the port which is free right which we got from this service right so using this appm driver local service dot get url dot get port we got the port and then we are forming this url and wd and hub this stands for appm because appm run on this right so these are the desired capabilities again we are passing so if you look at the flow so we are calling the start winup driver which in turn calling the start apm service which is then like running the apm service right and starting the service and it is calling the windows driver right we are initializing the windows driver so this is returning the windows driver object so again like if you look at it this in turns is returning the windows object right and we are now getting the windows object and this is the same line which we used previously right after getting the instance we are clicking on settings right and then we are quit, uh, quitting the driver and at last we are stopping the appm driver so in order to stop it we are again killing the exe okay so now i am going to run it and you will ob observe the logs so if you look at it these are something related to appm log right it will now open the notepad and then it will click on settings so this is how we can launch the WinApp driver uh, using Appium service and in turn we can launch the desktop application, right? So that is it for this session. Thank you.